In this video, let's take a look at two configurations that might be of help when working with JSON server. The first one is specifying the port number. By default, JSON server runs on port 3000. But you might already have a different app running on that port. For example, a React application. In such cases, we can specify the port option when starting JSON server. In package.json, in the serve JSON script, we add dash dash port 4000. If we now run yarn serve JSON, you can see our data being served on port 4000. The second configuration that might come in handy is the custom route configuration. At the moment, we have a specific route to access a list of products or an individual product. Your company might have a specific naming convention when it comes to APIs. So let's see how to configure custom routes for our products JSON. Begin by creating a new JSON file in the project folder. Let's call it routes.json. Within the file, we specify a simple JSON which contains custom route names and the mapping to routes from JSON server. For example, we can have a mapping from slash API slash v1 slash star to slash dollar one. What this does is map slash products to slash API slash v1 slash products. But we need to inform JSON server to make use of this custom route. So in package.json, we specify another option, dash dash routes, routes.json. If you now restart the server, so yarn serve JSON, and visit localhost port 4000 slash api slash v1 slash products, we get back the list of products. This of course is in addition to just slash products. So if your team or project or the company has a specific naming convention for api routes, create custom routes, and map them to the JSON server routes. The routes can be pretty much any valid route you would want to have for your API. For example, I can specify a category filter as part of the route itself. So slash products slash colon category would have the equivalent of slash products with a category query parameter for filter. So category is equal to the passed in category. Restart the server. So you are in serve JSON. And in the browser, we can navigate to slash products slash electronics. And we get all products whose category is electronics. As you can see, JSON Server is pretty flexible when it comes to naming the endpoints. Alright, we have just one more video to go, so I'll see you in the next one.